Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Indie Digest. Oh yes, this is an amazing one today. This is Renegade X. It is a fan project that has been designed in the Unreal 3 engine to make Command & Conquer Renegade, but like with modern graphics. And it's not like Command & Conquer Renegade, for those of you who are not familiar, Command & Conquer Renegade is the first person shooter of the Command & Conquer franchise, specifically the Tiberium sort of side of the franchise, where you play like a, I think it was a Commando of the GDI, look, it was quite good. Uh, but the multiplayer was quite amazing. Oh yes, certainly for the time. These days, but that's why it's been remade. Let's get into a game, let's get into a game. Multiplayer is the way to play it, skirmishes, meh, it's alright. The AI is fine I guess, but multiplayer is the way to play it. So find a good server, that one will do for me, it's EU. There's no ping, which is a bit of a problem, so you just have to go off the list and try and find one that's close to you. But you know, details, details. Well, that sounds quite loud. That's louder than the menu. I can't change it. Okay, well, uh, never mind. So, uh, this is uh, a first slash third person shooter. Gonna flip between them. I quite like first person though. Third person is quite nice. It's actually quite good. Uh, look at that moving. It's like, yeah, it leans into the run. That is pretty impressive, actually. And that, that goes the entire game. I mean, you know, texture work is pretty good. You know, everything moves quite nicely. The animations are pretty fluid and solid. For a fan project that costs no money, this is really goddamn hot. Oh god, shut up. I mean loud. So, there are five free classes, soldier, shotgun, flamethrower, marksman, engineer, or five more if you are GDI. Uh, well, five different ones, not necessarily more. Those soldier and engineer are the same, and I think marksman's roughly the same. They might have a shotgunner as well. But they definitely have a grenadier as opposed to a flamethrower. And then there are a number of vehicles, very different for GDI and Nod, and there are a load of special characters. All of these cost credits, and there's a few ways of getting credits. Firstly and foremostly is uh, just a constant influx of them. Secondly, probably most important, is the constant uh, attempt to get a... If I can find one. Is there anybody on the server? There's one guy on the server said there were 38. Well, this gives me a chance to uh, show you around. No cheats, really. You do surprise me. Um, to get a harvester. Where is the harvester? Okay, there's the refinery. Harvester, where are you? I think it might be over that hill. Maybe. Uh, there's a harvester that... Shut up, lightning. Dealing with it. So, there's a constant attempt to get... Is it here? Is it here? It is not here. Okay, I have no idea where it is, but basically there's a harvester that goes and harvests Tiberium. And then if you get it back safely and alive, it gives you a whole load of credits. Ooh, there's a dude. So, this is the combat in the game. It is fairly old school, in that there is not much recoil. I have to say the guns feel a little uh, fire hosey. Just sort of spray and pray really is the only way to go about this game. You can, you can sort of hold back a bit, but you don't need to. It doesn't change anything. Uh, the, the main thing is that there's just quite a variety of uh, various weapons. I'm not going to be able to show you too many because I doubt I'll be getting much money. So it's probably just going to be me and that one guy fighting over and over. Oh, no. He got himself killed by the base defences. You know what? Let's get into a proper match. Let's get into a proper match. So I can maybe show you the actual mechanics of the game as is present in a proper battle. There's that terrible fake mini battle. Whew, okay. Establishing battlefield control. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Just a minute. There we go. Okay. So, ooh, shiny. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Which goes for most of the game. It is a very nice looking game. Look at that. Look at all that. That's, that's, that's really quite pretty. And that. Oh, God. Oh, you. No. Yeah. Yes, uh, the main uh, the, 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 the thing of the game is you have to try and destroy all of the oh god uh, all of the enemy buildings. The way to do this is to either shoot at them with big guns or 
to sneak in and put something on the master control panel, specifically, probably, C4 or other explosives. And we managed to stop that one, so good. Let's get ourselves a fancy character. 600 we can afford with a laser chain gunner. Fancy dude. Look at him. Look at him. Big. Ooh. Uh, that plane drops off um, uh, tanks and such for the nod. Ooh, do we not have a uh, obelisk? There's no obelisk of light. Okay, we have no defenses in this map. I guess we're going to fight this off ourselves. That's what we'll do with a giant laser chain gun. Because why not? I mean, if I had a laser chain gun, that would be how I deal with all of my problems. I have a lot of problems. The laser chain gun would solve all of them, so. <laughs> you know, that's uh, that's good. It's not so good because laser chain gun not real. I don't they were. They probably won't be, there's no real reason to have a laser chain gun. Maybe? Maybe it's to stop the, like, the single laser from overheating? Oh! Oh no, that, that could be a real reason. No, guys, laser chain guns could be real. They, they, that, that might work, that might be how they have to do it. This one barrel might get hot. Is that how they would work? Is that how lasers work? Do barrels of lasers get hot? I'm gonna say they do, because that, you know, just sort of feeds into my own random thoughts. Uh, we're going for a rocket dude. Because he's a rocket dude. Oh, we could have got one of the thousand crit. Well, doesn't matter. So, uh, how do you do it? You just push across the map, or you try and sneak over with a stealth dude, or you sneak through one of the tunnels. Some maps have tunnels, I don't know if this one does. Probably does, let's do. And it's just a constant fight. It's like a game of Planet Side, uh, except it, it, it's, it's a bit more contained. Uh, oops, Actually, you know, it's very much like Planet Side. Very much like small scale Planet Side. Which isn't necessarily bad. It's like, because there's a constant push and pull, uh, attack and defend, there's no real downtime. So, one could say it's a slightly better Planet Side. Oh, there we go. Harvester came in. There's a thousand. Why don't we get. Well, that one's good against light armor and heavy armor, apparently. Ah, oh, characters from the original single player campaign. Which was terrible, but I liked it, so. Screw you, I guess, if you, if you didn't. Oh, this is good. So yeah, engineers uh, repair the buildings, and usually you get people fighting people, and tanks fighting tanks, so you can get people to fight tanks and tanks to fight people. Like, that flame tank is really good against people. But also pretty good against tanks. Who was shooting me? Who was shooting me? No, that instead of man. The planes and the tank. Long range missile launcher. We'll deal with it. It's the rocket soldier going for it. Me going for it. Ooh! Where dare he? Kind of murder me like that. Now, the one I mean, the, 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 the character I picked does cost a thousand credits, so it's probably going to be worth my time to oh, run away, run away, he's a mammoth. So it's just a really big GDI fan. That's probably going to be worth my while to run away back. Go to the purchase terminal and to refill, which just gets me my ammo and my health back. Oh god, shoot it! Shoot it! Little guys. Can tanks die? Can tanks have souls? Well, there's a question for you. Uh, Twitch the answer probably now. But if it is, we are awful people. Uh, right, this is probably it. They have, mammoth tank. they have uh, two mammoth tanks in our base, and this is it. You don't come back from two mammoth tanks in your base without an obelisk of light. Oh, the handling rod is on half health. But that, oh, that mammoth tank's down to 30%. Oh, it's dead. Maybe somebody's repairing his base. We can do it. We can do it. Theoretically. I don't know if they take more damage on the back. I'm going to shoot in the back anyway, just in case. I think they do. I think they have directional damage. Like, weaker armor on the back, stronger armor on the front, you know, snap into the tank. Ooh, rules. Uh, but I don't know, sure. They are doing a long range missile attack on us, let's try and deal with that. Uh, problems with the game. Well, you know, the gunplay is not, uh, it's not Call of Duty or Battlefield. Payday. That's what I've been playing recently. I like, actually, uh, the gunplay's very nice and good way to guns. Uh, it's not like that. The, the guns are, you know, they're not very good, but um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter because, you know, it's not about feeling the guns, it's just about these big battles that go on and 
constantly push and pull. And it's nice to have an old, a bit of old school without it just being that, uh, you know, just like Quake Death One match, which, which uh, was attack. good, but, you know, it's a little, um, so we'd say it's a little uh, sort of Twitch skill base. And I kind of, oh, sniped. I kind of like the feeling of this sort of just oh, running around and shooting. It's about explosions. It's about crazy stuff going on. It's been Mendoza because he has an awesome beard. You know, it's, it, you don't have to think too much. It's just explosions and running and shooting. And it's like, good God. It's like, it's, it, you know, it's like Battlefield if it was, you know, if they had bases and they were, that's a terrible analogy for it is like Planet Side. It's like Planet Side, except the bases actually do things. Refineries and holes to harvest for your money. And Nod lets you have the characters. If you buy the lot, you don't get them. The airstrip or the, 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 the weapons factory on the GDI. Um, God. Uh, oh God. Gives you uh, the, the tanks. Tanks Tanks are useful. Tanks are very useful in this game. Very expensive, but very useful. Now. Characters also useful because they can do things like this and you never do things like that. Except if I didn't, if I had, you'd have been impressed. Uh, let's get ourselves a tank. Let's be an engineer and let's get ourselves a. APC ready. Mobile artillery, I think. Should be quite useful for defending the base. Generally better against. Um, what do we call it? Uh, buildings. But long range uh, defense. Base defense is also a reasonable use of its. Um, you know, abilities. Is that shell drop? Maybe? Looks like it. Oh, there we go, that was a hit. Hit, hit, uh, hit identification is not perfect by any stretch of imagination. But, you know, it's okay. Mm. Uh, one last thing. Asymmetrical, uh, asymmetrical fights. It's quite nice. I mean, uh, nods tend to be a bit more sneaky. They have the stealth tanks, they have the stealth troopers. Oh, I'm dying. Um, GDI have a lot more um, just raw power. Their sort of medium tanks are quite beefy. Their, their mammoth tanks are just beasts. Um, but, you know, they, they, they sort of play a bit differently. They're, they're still very much the same. There's not a, you know, there's not some crazy difference between them. Just like in uh, the actual Clan and Conquer. I mean, I'm sure it might have been revolutionary in its time to uh, have like asymmetrical warfare. Not to the extent of, let's say, Starcraft, but, it, you know, to, to an extent. That's something, right? An extent. Please shoot. There you go. Ooh. You know what? I think this will be better. Proper tank control. I right? quite like that. Well, sort of, you know. Essential pop attack controls. Uh, did separate uh, aiming and moving controls. But I just do things like this. So you have the turrets on the back and the front. And the refinery is destroyed. We've probably lost. Given enough time, we will not be able to use some of the same amount of resources as they can. And so they will probably be able to wear us down. Not if they keep throwing mammoth tanks away like that. Oop. And the boy indicates the kills. So, kills a dude. Is that the first time? Well, I've been doing terrible. Well, I have been commentating, so... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not good at first-person shooters and commentate. Good God! Oh, there's a mammoth tank there. He's dead. Let's chase him down. Chase him down. Forward. Great justice. And great injustice. I'm pretty good with the bad guys. Oh, come on, come on. Kill that tank. That tank's dead. Soldiers, get off the hot wire. I think he's a special tech issue. Oh no. Giant cannon. Giant cannon. Ah! See, if you've got some higher weapons, they're quite effective. Just make notice of finding the giant very loud explosion. Ooh, he's gonna kill me. Let's see if we can't uh, throw a bit of C4 on him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, the battles can drag a bit. I will say that we basically lost, but we haven't actually, because they have beaten us. Uh, yeah, the refinery's destroyed, guys. You can't repair that. Airstrip is also destroyed. We only have characters left. There's no more tanks. So this is pretty much it. They just have to make a final run at the hand of Nod, and they'll win. So I have to say, as a general rule, characters can be quite difficult to actually kill. 
feisty little buggers there. Put it running around. That APC is valuable. That is the last APC we'll ever have. So we'll do that. Because it is possible to... Yeah, strike. It is possible to have a crazy comeback. Uh, it would require us to somehow save up, and save up enough money and then maybe go in with a load of stealth stuff, but we've probably lost. But regardless. So, do I recommend you get this game? Yes. Basically, I mean, it's free. Can't see what reason you would have to not get it. Unless you really, really didn't think you were going to enjoy this, though. You know, I'm enjoyable. Just a little try. And, you know, I... Why not? It, it's, it's fun. It really is quite fun. I mean, I can't... I feel bad saying anything bad, bad about it anyway. It's, it's like a, a fan-made project. And I wouldn't want to anyway, because... Found and Conquer Men Games was like one of the first multiplayer games I ever played and has quite a lot of like um, oh it has a lot of uh, nostalgia for me. And this is a beautiful way to make your own nostalgia because this weirdly this is how I remember the game looking. Obviously it isn't how it looked, but this is kind of how I remember it. You know, sort of all shiny and clear. Obviously it looked terrible back in the day, but you know, that's it's not here nor there, is it? This is a way to play it. If I tried to take get, go, go get the old game, it probably wouldn't even work on a modern system. Might do, might not. I don't actually know. I haven't tried it. Probably should. Um, yeah, stop the Zygars. But this is really good. It, it actually is probably the best fun project I've ever played. It, 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 it works, which is a, which is a good positive. Most uh, most fun projects have a tendency not to work particularly well or at all. Hand of so, you know, good start. It's a fan project Hand that actually got made. That's a, that's a pretty significant start to the whole thing. It's just a good bit of fun. I mean, this is uh, I mean, this is still a, this is an innovative multiplayer mode to begin with, and it's pretty damn innovative now. Frankly, you don't get many of these like this, but you get uh, Savage maybe. That has the you know like a single commander. There's no commander here. There's no commander running this. This is all uh, this is all the players in the buildings. Uh, but yeah, what do you have? You have Savage. You have Empires mod. I can do an indie digest on that. The mods count as indie games. I'm gonna say they do just uh, for future reference. Um, yeah, maybe I don't know. But yeah, there's like the Empire's Monster Savage, there is. Oh, they didn't we come up with a AAA one a while ago, didn't they? What was that? Is that being made? Uh, I, don't re I don't recall its name. There's not many like this, though, and there's nothing quite the same as this. So it's quite innovative, it's completely different to uh, yeah, you know, most of the things you've played. I think it's honestly worth a good look at. So. If it interests you, link in the description. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next time.